Yeah. We give you the best. Comedians you brought. So, um, how were you able to pull this together, get all these upcoming stuff? Uh, well, I know everybody, and I know who and who will deliver on um, the job, and who should give what at um, this specific point in time. Um, there's been a lot of complaint about um, what has been dished out in the comedy space, but I know better. That's because we're not exactly showcasing a lot of the people that could um, put us at par on that level that they expect. You keep seeing the same people that you are complaining about all the time. But you are not giving these ones the opportunity. But you saw it tonight. I mean, all these guys are dope. And they tell clean jokes. Very intelligent, cultured, mature jokes. And we've had almost, uh, we have about 30 comedians here tonight. We've seen about, about 15 perform. If you go backstage, some even turned up like Egbo. We know so now sure we go turn up. We don't. So they are backstage waiting to perform. I know everybody. So. Okay, so um, in Nigeria as a country, um, where is the place of comedy? It's the place of remedy, <laughs> because um, if not for humor in the past few years, the mental health situation we have right now would have skyrocketed. You know, a lot of people are depressed. There's um, a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of um, people have lost touch with reality in certain instances. People are starting to actually behave like animals. The way people are behaving in some instances, you want to question, ah, where is our value? Where is the morality? That's because they've lost all sense of themselves. And it's a mental health issue. But unfortunately, our doctors here are not invested heavily in mental health um, diagnosis. There's still anything that does you is either malaria, or, but mental health is a serious thing. So humor has been able to help us abate it a bit. People now watch skits, they listen to comedians, they watch funny movies and all that. So humor has a huge role in it and playing. And thank God for humor. I've heard people say, I want my hospital bed, I was watching you and uh, you know. Doctors have said it, try and get some relief, some laugh to stress off, you know. So humor has a huge part to explain and we thank God. And humor is so diverse. You have slapstick humor, you have stand-up comedy, you have, you know, several angles of humor that people are now enjoying in indigenous languages, in English, variety of humor. And people are discovering it more and more. There's pantomime, there's slapstick, you know, there's mimicry, you know. People are now seeing that there are different ends that we can now see in humor. So, a message to Nigerians at this time. Please. Uh, Why Children's Day especially? Please, let's just keep um, hoping and praying for Nigeria and uh, hope that this new dispensation, things will work out well for every one of us. There's no gain saying that the past eight years have been very tough. As a matter of fact, um, we thank God. <laughs> So, what's the prospect for the so, industry? The uh, well, well, I don't know what the plans are, but one thing I know is this. The government of Nigeria has never really taken entertainment serious. There's never been that um, peer into it, like, okay, what is this really about? They still see it as surface entertainment. They are not seeing it as they should see it. Up until recently, when our uh, artists now started getting Grammy nominations, a few people in those quarters are starting to say, like, ah. And then whenever we win accolades from abroad, the government is always quick to want to attach themselves to it, but they are not investing in it. So we need people who are proactive, who can see from within the government and say, ah, this and this is what we should do for the entertainment space because the entertainment space is actually employing more people and creating avenues for young people to express themselves because the disciplines we used to know as the major disciplines are gradually fading off you know back in the day your mom wants you to be a doctor to be an engineer ai is taking over most of those things but you still need me to act you still need me to be a master of ceremony you still need me to come crack the jokes. AI will not crack the joke. You might try it, but you still need my physical presence or my interaction one way or the other to act out the skit. So entertainment still has a very powerful place in our space. But if we're not careful, our people are going to migrate all of these potentials just like every other person is migrating it. 
a lot of doctors are going. If you check the radar between year 2015 and now, a lot of my colleagues have also migrated because they are seeing a place where they are respected and then they are appreciated. And since you have a lot of Nigerians in the diaspora, there is a marketplace already. So if it is not being appreciated back home, they will take it where it will be appreciated. Everybody is on a journey, and their journey is to find fulfillment eventually. It is wherever you find fulfillment that you will go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank All you. The best. Thank you. Um,